Life without you been feeling kinda strange Well I see that you're doing very well Ha, you looking very well I miss the way your perfume smell I miss the way that you blowed up my line Just to make sure that I'm feeling well What's going on here? I think y'all already know what time it is. I think y'all already know what time it is. Like what? Welcome back to my channel. I am Keisha Jabri and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I install and style this hair from Asteria Hair. So in today's video, you guys will see how I got this specific look. This is from wig cap, install, baby hairs, all the way down but before we get into any of that i want to show you guys what they sent in my package so they sent the hair in this cute little bag and of course the hair is not in there because it's on my head but in the bag they sent this scarf they sent me a scarf y'all i'm loaded up on scarves right now like loaded they also sent some lashes in these i kind of like these y'all know i'm not a lash girl but i like the ones that look super wispy and not like thick. These might be a hit, I ain't gonna lie. Um, ooh, they sent me two wig caps. Well, this is actually four because two come in each one of these. So uh, thank y'all for sending me four freaking wig caps. And then they also sent some more lashes and then a elastic band that says Asteria Edge Melt Band. So you can use this on your lace to lay it down when you go to sleep, when you take a shower, when you melt in it, use this right here. And I love this one. I actually reuse, I, I have another one, but I'm glad they sent me this one because my other one is kind of crusty now. But I like these because it has a Velcro strap on it and you can tighten it. The Velcro actually sticks to the band itself. So you, you can literally tie this however tight you want to tie it and it's not going anywhere. So I love, 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 love this band that they sent. And then they also sent a edge toothbrush as well as a comb on the end so thank you so much for that that definitely is needed in this process so shout out to y'all for sending me that and then of course like i said this came in this cute drawstring bag which i get to put my wig in there after i'm done with it so this is super duper handy as well but that's everything that i say in the package i cannot wait to show you guys this hair it is so freaking gorgeous so i'm not gonna prolong it and i'm not gonna ramble no more, we just gonna hop right into this video, but before we can get into it, I need y'all to go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and also comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next. And also subscribe to my channel because my cash baby's lit, I'm lit, and if you subscribe, then you can be lit too, and that's on what? That's on period. So yeah, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Okay, so y'all, this is what the wig looks like. I have bleached the knots and plugged this unit. Um, I didn't do too much, but you know, I customized it to my liking. And right now it's super big because I have plucked it and brushed it out, plucked it, brushed it out. And I've also washed his hair. So we're going to define the curls in a little bit, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looked, you know, all big and crazy. I have plenty of videos on how I do this process. So I will link them above. So if you guys want to learn how to do this, then that will be up there for you guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna put back on the wig to see how much more cap I need to cut off. This is just gonna be based on the actual um, hairline of the wig. You're gonna put it on, try it on, 
see exactly where things are going to be glued down. As you guys can see, when I sit the wig where I'm gonna glue it down, you can still see some of that cap right here. So I'm just taking a mental note to cut that off. Um, sit in the top where I would want that. And then over here, you can also see that I can see the cap around the same area. So right here and right here is where I think I should cut the cap because that's where I can see it the most. Um, as long as there's hair in front of it, it's gonna be concealed, but if the cap is in front of the hair, it needs to be cut. So that's just my little trick that I like to do to be able to tell where exactly I need to cut the cap. All right, so now that I have the cap cut, what I'm gonna do is take some makeup which has to be really close to your skin tone. I'm just using a powder, but you can use foundation, concealer, whatever you wanna use. And you just wanna put this all over the wig cap and all over the front of the lace. So now as you guys can see, you cannot see any cap and the lace is literally the color of my skin. Not up here in the front because I didn't put much makeup on the edges, but up here is my skin. Okay, so this is what it's looking like right now. So what I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna glue this wig down with the lace still attached because I'm just a little iffy. This is a heavy wig, so I don't want to risk, you know, cutting it all off and then not being able to place exactly where I need to because of the weight of the wig. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Ghost Bond glue, which is what I always use to glue down my wigs, and I'm gonna do about two to three layers of this stuff, and I'm gonna lay it down with a popsicle stick. And when you lay it down your glue, you just wanna make sure that it's super flat and you don't have any lumps at all. And then you also wanna make sure that your glue dries completely clear. So I just like to put some glue on the back of something so it doesn't get everywhere. I'm gonna take my popsicle stick and then I'm gonna flip this wig back. And I'm gonna try to keep in mind where I just had it sitting and I'm gonna put my glue right in front of that wig cap that I laid down. And then I'm just gonna start to lay down this glue, y'all. Okay, so to make laying this down easier, I'm gonna cut the lace in three parts just to make this a lot easier on myself. I'm just gonna cut it, let the middle be one part and then the sides be its own. And then what I'm gonna do is start to pull this lace down and place it where I want it to be. And then I'm gonna be pushing the lace into my skin with a comb like this. It's just gonna make sure that all the lace touches the glue and touches my skin at the same time. And then I'm gonna keep doing this for each tab.
Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I have my elastic band and I've tied up the hair out the way. What I'm gonna do is spray some even on the lace and then I'm gonna tie it down and then we're gonna start styling this hair. So I'm going to do a deep side part and I'm gonna kinda of like curve the part cause I just feel like curved parts look so much better. So to solidify my part, I'm gonna be using some got to be hairspray, and then I'm also gonna be using my Style Factor wax stick. I'm gonna be using these two together along with my hot comb to make sure everything is nice and flat. Okay, so I feel like everything is about as flat as I'm gonna get it. Now what I'm about to do is go ahead and wet down all this hair and brush it out completely so that we can see what, you know, it's just getting bigger and bigger. Like, I just need to wet it, brush it out. We're gonna put some product in it to keep it tamed. I'm just gonna be spraying it down with some water and a spray bottle and then I'm gonna be brushing it out with my paddle brush and then I'm gonna show y'all the products that I'm gonna be using. So what I'm gonna be putting on each section is the Miss Jessie Coily Custard. This is just going to tame the hair and keep it nice and shiny and curly at all times. It's not gonna ever get frizzy. With this product in it, um, it'll probably take a few days for it to you know, get to this stage. But this product is just really nice for maintaining curls and taming hair and making sure that everything stays into place. So this is what this side looks like. And as you guys can see, this product just does amazing with curly hair. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the last section. And then we gonna start to get into these baby hairs. But of course I gotta tame the mane. All right, so now that the hair is looking good, I wanna show y'all what it looks like. Can y'all see? So I'm gonna take some clips and move the hair out of the way just so I can see the lace. And then after that, we can remove this elastic band. Finally, it's squeezing my head to death, okay? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take my shears and go ahead and cut all this lace. But do y'all see the melt on this freaking wig? Like, don't play with me, period. Like. This is my hair, can't nobody tell me different. I'm trying to figure out what kind of baby hairs I wanna do, but the hairline on his wig looks so good that I might just do simple baby hairs. I was gonna do like extra, but I think I wanna just do simple now. So we gonna see after I cut the lace.
Okay, so what I'm about to do now is define this part because it's looking a little wonky to me. So I'm gonna use a little bit of makeup and a little bit of spray. Um, I use high beams. I just get this from my local beauty supply store. And I'm just gonna be using some makeup and I'm gonna fix up this part really quick. Okay, so I'm done with the part. I think that it looks a lot better than what it did before. So, I mean, if you are a simple gal, you can leave your hair like this, but I do wanna add at least one or two or three or four baby hairs. So that's what I'm about to do now. I'm gonna show y'all, I think I'm just gonna do simple because I really love the hairline of this wig and I don't wanna overdo it. So I'm gonna just do some simple ones right quick, maybe one right here and one on the side. And I might just leave this side to be natural, but we'll see. So now I'm gonna take some got to be spiked glue and I'm gonna use this to lay down these baby hairs. So this is how the baby hairs are looking. I'm trying to bring this part just a little bit more into my face because I kind of want that deep part action, you know what I mean? So I'm just taking a little bit of this spiking glue and just creating like this cute little hump right here so that the hair can fall right over my other eye. But that's it y'all like i just ate this up do y'all see my freaking hair right now it's giving vacation hair this is literally giving island vacation hair like this hair goes past my butt and it's curly hair so if you stretch it out it goes all the way down here this is just freaking gorgeous y'all the deep side part I'm liking the fact that I chose to do this because I like this. But I ain't gonna talk y'all head off. I'm about to do my makeup right quick and then I'm gonna be back to give you guys the final look. Y'all, this is how my hair looks. I think that it looks so freaking pretty. I wanna throw on a bathing suit right now. Like, I already kinda feel like I got on one, but it's just because I got on a halter top. But this is so freaking cute, this hair is gorgeous like do y'all see this gorgeous but y'all already know Assyria hair they always come through with the long tresses and it always is so freaking bomb like all the way throughout side part giving everything is giving y'all y'all the hair is super late so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do not forget to give me a big old thumbs up and also comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next 
And also subscribe to my channel because my catch baby's lit. I'm lit and if you subscribe, then you can be lit too. And that's on what? That's on period. Um, all the links on this hair will be, of course, listed in my description box as well as a discount code. So do not skip that step. But that's it for this video. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.